All right, CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell here reporting here, and I am back at it for the boxing fanatics. Okay, so let's get it on here, right? Now, here we go, boxing fans, as boxing fans actually, and consumers, okay? Here we go with the promoters shoving stuff down throats like sellers, you know, like they are, right? Like, you know how uh, a seller will make this like so-called amazing miracle cream for wrinkles. You know, they don't say, oh, your face is so wrinkled like this sheet of paper here, all old and, you know, out of shape and whatnot. But we'll sell you this cream that'll take this skin of yours and make you look like this, you know, all nice, youthful, young. <laughs> Wow. And you know, the consumers, they see that, you know, they see the product, they see what it can do, they listen to the story behind it, and guess what? They'll actually go out and they'll buy it, okay? You know, just because what they've seen and heard. And that's the same thing they're doing here in boxing, all right? I mean, they've been doing this for years, right? So now we have Bob Arum, all right, pushing Teofimo Lopez, down our throats that's saying that he would be a excellent opponent for uh Vasily Lomachenko, right? He even has uh Teofimo Lopez calling out uh Vasily Lomachenko. Man, really? Come on, man. I mean if you know like Zano, Teofimo Lopez is not in uh Vasily Lomachenko's league, okay? I mean not this year, not next year, okay? Not even the year after next, all right? Let me tell you something. Teofimo Lopez, he may has the power, okay? We see that, we see him knocking dudes out. He looks good, he's very high energetic, doing backflips in the ring, very entertaining, right? So, you know, we, we take all that stuff and we wanna say, yeah, man, he might be a, a, a real good fight, real good test for, you know, Vasily Lomachenko, all right? But, nah, that's, I don't know, basically, uh, how, how do you say, uh, what kind of fans they say they are? Uh, I, I forget the name of them. Well, maybe they'll buy into that, but for the hardcore fans, we know, okay, that the skills pay the bills, okay? The ring IQ. I mean, Tio Fimo Lopez could have all the, you know, knockouts early in his career, like any other fighter would. I mean, take a look at Keith One Tom Thurman, right? I mean, he was called Keith One Tom Thurman because he used to get guys out of there. But when he started going up, uh, facing better opposition, those knockouts started to decrease, okay? He didn't knock out Porter. He didn't knock out uh, Garcia. Uh, he didn't knock out uh, the Ghost Guerrero, okay? And he didn't knock any of them dudes out, right? And, and the other guy, um, Colazzo, he didn't knock him out, you know, because he's fighting better competition. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen with Teofimo Lopez. I mean, I seriously doubt, you know, as he go up to like 22 or 23 fights, he'll still have knockouts. I mean, I understand some fighters, still do it but like who mm, Deontay Wilder but is any of his uh opponents eh. well Luis Ortiz was one you know he, he was a pretty good opponent for Deontay Wilder and he did get stopped but he didn't stop a uh, uh Tyson Fury okay and um another fighter I've always that remains to burn I believe that's the first fight he didn't get stopped he got stopped in the second fight but not in the first one so yeah, you know, all right, some do get lucky. Some really do has power, all right? But with Teofimo Lopez, too soon to tell. Now, with Vasily Lomachenko, likes, no one has never seen anything like this guy before, all right? And that's what makes him so special. Could Teofimo Lopez, you know, uh, deal with his ring IQ? Now, a lot of people may think that this is a, a cherry pick by, um, you know, um, Vasily Lomachenko. I don't think so because Vasily Lomachenko has one of the best records out there. Okay. I mean, he has uh, Gary Russell Jr. on his record, Nicholas Walters on his record, uh, Orlando Salido, though he lost to him, um, Guillermo Rigadox, you know, Jose Pedraza, Jorge Linares. A lot of people may say, oh, those two don't really matter. But look, he got some pretty good names. Only two names he don't have on his record is Mikey Garcia and Javante Davis, okay? Or a uh, Tevin Farmer. Although well, Tevin Farmer said he would love to face um, Vasily Lomachenko. But getting back to the question, uh, is Teofimo Lopez ready? No, he's not, okay? I say three, three years down the line, maybe, okay? But the way Bob Arum is set, saying this, like they might fight at the end of this year 
or sometime in the beginning of next year, okay? It's just a slaughter, all right? I mean, Vasily Lomachenko will beat the living daylight out of, um, you know, <clears throat> Uh, Teofimo Lopez. The guy is still fresh bread, okay? Nah, this is not a good look. Now, really, what really was supposed to happen was that Richard Kume was supposed to be um, Vasily Machenko's opponent, all right? This fight that's coming up on Friday, it was supposed to be Richard Kume, all right? But I don't know, a lot of boxing fans felt that that, was, that wasn't fair because Richard Kume had just won the title, okay? And it was actually that fight was set up for him to win so he can go ahead on and face Vasily Lomachenko. I mean, because look, look at Richard Kume's opponent. I mean, the guy who he knocked out, that fight wasn't competitive. That was a fight for like an up and comer like Teofimo Lopez. All right, that, that's what type of opponent he was. Uh, the guy that um, Richard Kume had knocked out, mouth getting dry here. But yeah, I mean, so he was there to win that fight and that guy was there to lose and it was all done so he could make the fight with, you know, um, like I said, Vasily. But like I said, a lot of people say it wasn't fair. And um, I guess they came up with the story, oh, well, he got hurt, he hurt his hand, so we got to find another opponent. And then, you know, here comes Tio and Fimo Lopez. They're trying to hype this guy up and everything. But um, all I got to say, it's a waste of time. Maybe Bob Arum is uh, using Vasily uh, Machenko's name just to help promote Teofimo Lopez. I think that would be a good idea instead of putting him in the ring, really putting him in the ring with uh, Vasily. I mean, the fights that we want to see is the fights that he should be trying to make. And well, like I said, there's two of them. The Mikey Garcia fight and the Javante Davis fight. But if you can't get that fight, uh, have a talk with uh, Tevin Farmer. You know what I'm saying? He says he's you know, willing to face him. That'd be a good show as well. So anyways, that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next one.